For your base, you're going to need water and instant mash. And for the filling, you're going to need chopped ham, four tablespoons of low-fat cottage cheese, 35 grams of low-fat cheddar cheese, three free-range eggs, chopped spring onion, baby tomatoes and red peppers, some salt, some pepper, and the all-important low-calorie cooking spray. Firstly, empty your instant mash into a large bowl. Now you've got your mash in the bowl, add a small amount of water, slowly, because you don't want to add too much, because you don't want it turning directly into mash. It should start clumping together, and give you like a dough consistency. It starts to go like breadcrumbs. Just keep adding it a little drop at a time until you start getting it to form. You probably don't want to use the smashed granules because I'm not sure. I've only used the powdered variety, so I don't know if the granules would work in the same way. Okay, when you start getting the bigger lumps together, that's when it's going into the dough type consistency. Okay, now you want to just take your hand in there, start squeezing it together. And you want to get it into a nice ball shape. Needs a tiny bit more water. There we go, it's starting to go. Okay. And you should have something that resembles that. Okay, so this is a seven and a half inch flan tray. Now what we want to do is place it like so. Just give it a little spray with some low calorie cooking spray. And then you want to take your ball of potato dough and you want to just start pushing it down around the base of the tray. Now don't worry if it cracks because we can feel that because it will start to crack. And you just want to spread it as far as you can around the edge, all the way up to the edge. If you do need to add a little bit more water at this point, you can just, just wet your hands and spread it around. There we go. Plenty of cracks in there. I think we need to add a little bit of water there. Just spread it around. That will stop it cracking so much. It's just a little dry. And try and fill those cracks as much as you can because you don't want your your egg and cream cheese and stuff to go seeping through the bottom of your your quiche. You want it to all sitting there lovely and turn into a nice filling. Now you should end up with something like this. 
don't be afraid if it starts cracking, just like I say, add a bit more water, you can just smooth it around like that. Doesn't matter if it doesn't quite reach the tops, it's fine. Because those cracks will, once like you've smoothed it out, the potato moves quite nicely across the top here. So once you've done that, should feel a bit like gnocchi when you buy a gnocchi out of the shops and it's a bit spongy and a bit bouncy so it should feel like that and once you've got your base done like that's your base finished once you've got that finished you want to um just throw it in the oven on uh i've got my oven set to 220 degrees and that you want to leave that in for maybe 20 minutes 15 20 minutes but you just want to um Want it to go brown, harden up, and then that's your pastry base. Okay, now for your filling, all you need to do is take all your ingredients. I start with the eggs, throw them all in together. Oh, bit of egg there. Little trick I learned, take the shell out using another piece of shell. There you go, and that's gone. Beat up your eggs, add your cheese. Add your cottage cheese. Throw in your ham. And throw in peppers tomatoes and pep and uh, spring onion. Just give it a mix together, get it all in there. It's all nice and mixed together. There you go, it's brilliant. Add a little bit of salt. And some pepper, as much as you want really. Now that's ready, let's pour into your base. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, this is what your base should look like. Nice and brown and firm. So now what you have to do is take your ingredients and you've mixed together nicely and add that into your base. Spread that around evenly. You get a nice spread across the whole quiche. There you go. Now just pop it back into the oven for about another 25 minutes until it's cooked. And there we have it. One smashed based quiche.